Hi there, it's Tim from Tim's Electric. Thanks for watching. Today is just gonna be a really short video. It's gonna be a range test. I'm gonna show you the voltage that I'm gonna start with the Cyberbot Mini. After, um, I, after I've been riding for a little bit, I'm gonna give you the voltage at the end of the ride to give you an idea of the range that you should expect. Now, what is also important is size and or mass of the individual that's riding the scooter. Now, I'm a big guy, but I'm actually a lot smaller than I was even just last year. Last year, I was 299 pounds. This year, and that's what's important here, I'm 259 pounds. I've lost 40 pounds, yay me. But why I'm mentioning that is that so you know or can expect to know how far you're going to be able to get on a Cyberbot Mini. So as I said, I'm 259 pounds, I'm six feet tall, and even this sweater is starting to look a little bit too big for me. <laughs> anyway, enough of that. I'll show you a couple of clips, and at the end of the video, I'll give you the exact mileage of how far I actually got. I'm going to guess I'm going to go around maybe 45 minutes to about an hour of riding. Speed-wise, I'm going to be doing approximately 15 to 20 miles an hour or about 24 kilometers an hour to 32 kilometers an hour. If you have any questions about the Cyberbot Mini, do put those down in the comments down below. Um, I answer all comments that are put on my YouTube channel, and I'll also put the stats up of what the Cyberbot Mini is. It's, a, it's just a recap. It happens to be twin 500 watt motors, 48 volt battery with a 19.2 amp hour capacity. So let's get going. All right, I'm just uh, taking a break here and enjoying the views. Um, actually, I'm looking at, there's a bunch of boats out here right now fishing for salmon. The salmon are running right now. And uh, when the salmon are running, quite often you might see killer whales. So I'm actually sitting here watching for killer whales. Uh, if you guys watched my channel, you know just a few days ago, I was actually down here uh, watching killer whales just come right through the, uh, the bull kelp here. So it was kind of fun. Anyway, um, what is important, not just that I, the, my size and weight, is also the temperature of the day. I find that on cold, went, winter, sorry, cold wet days in the wintertime, uh, my battery is significantly uh, less, uh, has less range and less power. So today happens to be about 15 degrees. Uh, so that's approximately well, say 60, 62 degrees Fahrenheit. So gives you an idea. Lovely day, lovely and sunny. We'll keep going. Sights in his sights. <laughs> How you doing? Good, man. Good. Take care. Well, that's fun. Um, <laughs> as I pulled up to the uh, stop sign from you know exactly where I started, the scooter shut off. So I actually don't know what the voltage is at right now. So I'll. Um, I think it was 43 point something. So I probably pooched the battery here. I'm really cut my fingers crossed that I can go upstairs and charge it and uh, let you know all the rest of the details. I can share with you that I did 29.4 kilometers, which I think is fantastic, but uh, hopefully I haven't pooched the battery. <laughs> so I'm gonna go upstairs and figure that out now. Hi there, it's Tim and I'm back. It's been a few minutes since uh, that last video clip. In fact, it's been weeks because I actually went camping. I've been Banff having a good time, um, but it turns out I didn't actually blow the battery. I blew the controllers. Ugh. Anyway, what I did was I reached out to Cyberbot. They very kindly shipped me an Overnight Express DHL uh, new controllers. That was very kind of them. Um, 
I've never had controllers go before on a scooter. I, I threw it in the trunk of the car, the Sebrabot plus the new controllers, dropped it off at Ride the Glide, and they very kindly stuck the new controllers in for me. But um, I didn't realize that was a thing. I didn't realize that uh, controllers could die on scooters. And uh, after talking with Mike, who is uh, just, he's, he's so knowledgeable on this stuff. Um, he's like, yeah, that, that's actually a thing with quite a lot. It's not just one manufacturer. So if you've had your um, scooters, uh, controller go let me know down below put those down in the comments down below but coming full circle the scooter went just under 30 kilometers with this big guy on it it died at the stop sign right over here and uh yeah i mean for me i think that from a range anxiety perspective um the battery itself wasn't completely dead it just it was almost dead and i probably just overheated the controllers but um anyway it was a warm day it was a nice day let me know what you think down below. Put the comments down below. If you have any questions about the Cyberbot, let me know as well. Um, I'm still loving the Cyberbot. The fact that it f fit in the trunk of the car was kind of cool too, <laughs> which uh, my Varla won't fit in my little car. <laughs> awesome. I like that thing a lot. Yeah, I, I review them on YouTube. Do you actually? Yeah, so cool. that's what I'm doing a range test right now. Sweet. Yeah. That's great. What's your channel? Uh, Tim's Electric. Tim's what? Electric. It may say it on my chest. Hi there, it's Tim from Tim's Electric. Cool. Yeah. Well, great. Thanks for the, thanks for the whip. <laughs> well, hopefully I broke the wind for you a bit. You did. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks. Yeah, my pleasure. Yeah. Happy riding. Happy thanks. trails. Yeah, you too. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you. And as always, be safe. Wear a helmet. <laughs>